Hello everyone, this is Prabhu from the Sensory Team. In this video, I want to show how to reconfigure your vehicle by replacing a sensor with a new one. So right now in my phone, you can see that uh, I've got a bike configured and the two sensors that I'm using are right here. So let me show you the existing configuration of this bike. So as you can see, there are two sensors, uh, 3499 and then the 3447. Let's assume that the sensor 3447 malfunction and you wanted to replace this uh, tire with the new sensor, how to reconfigure it. And this is precisely the page where you come in. Let me again uh, start from scratch. You need to start by editing that vehicle. You go to the pairing screen. So in this screen, you will notice that uh, there are two options at the bottom of the screen, the auto and manual. This uh, option is missing when you set up the new vehicle. I will explain uh, the reason behind it. So by default, the screen will be in manual mode. It is in this manual mode, you will see this cross icons to delete or remove a sensor appears. If I go to auto mode, those icons goes away. Auto mode is made to function very similar to how it functions when you set up a new vehicle so if you want to add two more tires then this is where you need to be you need to go to auto mode and then you press the button it will automatically configure whereas here our interest is in replacing this sensor and reconfiguring that with a new one so i'm going to go ahead by removing that sensor it is done now i want to pair this tire with the new one so i just hit the pair button so as you can see in this screen we show uh, the recently removed sensor this is done so that you know when someone accidentally deletes a sensor they can still restore that sensor without even going and pressing the button so imagine a situation where you have the sensors installed already in your car and you accidentally removed a sensor so it's not going to be possible to again take the sensor out from the tire reset it and pair again so that is where this feature comes in handy you just hit restore and the sensor the sensor is restored for you all right so right now our interest is in configuring a new one so I've got uh, another sensor with me, 35D1, ending with 35D1. So I'm going to press the button for two seconds. As you can see, the sensor that we just uh, enabled appears here. So I want to pair my tire with this sensor, so I just tap it and done. So now we have the new sensor configured. So you hit save button and you're done. I hope this video helps and please make sure you go and do a sync that way all the new things that you modified are synced to our server. Thank you.